To some, this is Sen's Lady Bulldog cheerleading team. This cheerleading team is doing a routine to engage students in school spirit, bring students and staff together on one common ground. It's the minor things we overlook about our high school experience that, if it didn't exist, we'll question it forever. This person left a mark on the Lady Bulldogs, who will continue to keep our memory and spirit alive through cheer. This person being Jenny Goes, a math teacher who once walked down the same halls as us, tragically passed away May 20th, 2017 from triple negative breast cancer. Her passing left a void in many, but the foundation she left here continues to live on. She was like our original cheerleading coach. We didn't have cheerleaders the year before she came, and she came and she really helped start and kind of rejuvenate the team. So I think that was really important. Um, I think she was here a pretty short period of time uh, at Sun, but um, you know she's taught in other CPS schools, and her experience, well, I mean our experience with her as a teacher here at Sun, I think was incredibly positive. Everybody, you know, kids who had her loved her, um, adults loved her. We we thought she was a great teacher. The Lady Bulldogs not only kept Ms. Goy's memory alive by putting on an amazing show at the pep rally and homecoming game, but also becoming Team Pink and wearing pink bows and pink socks to acknowledge Ms. Goy's battle with breast cancer and create awareness for it. Uh, very good. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, uh, I, I want you. <laughs> Recently, Sin TV and Miss Nicole Flores, a very close friend of Ms. Goy's, had a wonderful opportunity to give Ms. Goy's his mom, brother, and sister a tour of the school and how much Goas was loved inside the halls of Sen. Oh, I wanted to give you these. I had some of her stuff that I was going uh, through, and these are some notes from her um, old students, and so uh, I thought that was where probably best to be with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know. So this is where we spent literally 90% of our time was in this room. We ate lunch together in here. We, we actually lucked out to have our schedule was exactly the same with respect to the periods that we three had off. So all of our three nice. periods were together. We had lunch every day together. We, you know, I was so in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. We talked about random stuff in the morning. <laughs> okay. Miss Goaz for help. Oh, she was really like your tutor. Yeah. Okay. Brittany and I didn't start off on a good foot, yeah. but then we ended on a great one, yeah. right? And so she needed a little bit extra help, and Miss Goaz was, oh, was kind good. of that person. Yeah. So they developed their own nice relationship. We're here talking about the Jenny Goaz Silverman Foundation, which is um, created by some of her friends in Chicago, and they're uh, raising money through multiple events to raise money for a scholarship, a couple scholarships for students here at uh, Sen High and uh, also raising money for awareness and research for the BRCA gene and the negative... Um, triple negative. The triple negative gene. Um, we know that Jenny started uh, a cheerleader team here and it's had a great impact. And we saw the appreciation that they gave to Jenny. We saw their uh, pink bows kind of paying homage to Jenny. So we just love that and say thank you so much to you guys. And, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, really appreciate that. And it's good to know that Jenny's made a lasting impact at the school and we see the impact she's made on the teachers, the students, the faculty, so we really just appreciate that and that makes us feel good that, you know, she, it's tragic what happened, but she made such a great impact on everybody and we just really appreciate that. We'll be back all the time. 